friends, my name is Ashok Sijal and in this session we learn the while loop. So let us start. First I share my laptop screen and here I fix the position and here uh, flow chart of while loop. First here enter the compiler then check the condition. If that is true then statement of that block or one statement or body of the statement, number of statement is executed. Repeat again and again, that is a loop, okay? So in like uh, graph theory, that is a loop is there. So graph theory, if you know very well, then loop is there. That concept is taking from graph theory. So number of time is that is executed. If this condition is false, then compiler come out the while loop. So that is a flow chart of while loop. Okay, now I open Turbo C++ and let us check that syntax and then apply one example of while loop. Okay, here filter F and file and new file taking and here uh, you can say that uh, syntax we can syntax of while loop. So loop means uh, repetition some tasks is appear and there are two types of loop. You can shock, uh, you can say that there are three type of loop, but uh, main category is a two type, entry control loop and exit control loop. In entry control loop, while and for loop is working and exit control loop that is a do while loop is working. So loop concept is taking from graph theory like the vertex is a one that uh, uh, vertex is a same starting and ending point that is known as a loop. So there is a while loop. Okay? And here we provide the syntax of while loop as a just comment line. And here I first board work and then comment apply. So you can test a while is a key, uh, while keyword and then here some condition then like open press and then here we can set that uh, statement single or number of there is a number of statement or single and closing that so that is the sign of uh, starting of while loop and that is a ending and here number of time uh, condition is true then this statement is execute that number of time that is repetition so that is known as a loop so there are two type of I again revise there are two main category entry control loop and exit control loop entry control loop there are two loop in C language that is a while and for for loop and exit control there is a do while loop there are two keyword do and while there is two keyword using exit control loop and while loop is a simplest loop and where use when you cannot identify how your uh, iteration is complete that time iteration is uh, your uh, repetition is when and then you have to not find in uh, early stage in your definition that time while loop is used and while loop is a uh, also possible you cannot apply this body part that is also you can just your semicolon but uh, if you that apply that is not uh, considered as a no body part that is also possible and you can apply two condition same time in the two expression or two condition is same like here i give i just remove this and here i can say that condition one and here i can condition two with uh, help of comma operator we can uh, define the two condition or you can say the two expression so that is also possible in while loop so i just simple syntax first and there is not uh, taking any semicolon because there uh, body part is not considered directly execute that number of time and sometimes it is an infinite loop so there is a you can uh, uh, come out the window switch and control post bakery then your condition is stop another way it is loop is infinite loop. okay so that is known as infinite loop. so i now start that is a syntax and i just uh, give here uh, comment line multi comment line mm, uh, slash asterisk and asterisk slash so that is just reference for you and here we can now start our simple example of while loop okay. so 
so just like a simple we can first print uh, wait here also we can take integer let us check if it is also possible in may we can give directly void that is habit to our writing program but we can also give integer or if you not provide your integer then also default return type of main function is a integer data type in c language okay so here i first declare uh, like i equal to one and semicolon and here now i first uh, we just declare otherwise it is taking error i just declare and then initialization is possible in c language if this file is uh, cpp then is no problem the first i save this file and that is we can say that uh, uh, print uh, dot c or print uh, one two three that is our goal and also we can print uh, a b c d a to z okay okay so print one two three there is no problem so here we can first uh, in a uh, there is a three parts of the for loop and here first is a initialized part in for loop so here i give this initialization outside while loop because while loop just only condition so i can here give the static like 10 okay and after we can also give the dynamic taking from user side let us also check that and here we provide single statement so there is a one uh, here opening brace and closing brace if and if require if two statement is there if single statement that is the optional part uh, providing opening and closing brace so we can take an after remove that is also the percentage uh, in double quote percentage d and one blank page and in the i value okay and then we can in body we have to take first two statement then we can opening and closing brace is a compulsory requiring while loop uh, or you can say that uh, compulsory but if only two statement is there if single statement there is no require that is optional so opening closing brace in all decision statement and all loop there is a rules if single statement there is a optional opening and closing brace if multiple statement here like two statement is there so uh, in a for loop you can that first initialization that condition and then increment decrement part so that is i plus plus that is increment by one way so in if you not uh, use increment or decrement my previous video lecture first you can watch and then that is a meaning i just uh, here uh, full form that is i equal to i plus one that's the meaning and also you can short here like a, a compound assignment over a cross equal to so you write like this that is short timing so just i reference for you so here i plus uh, plus one that is a full form of i that is a uh, post fix increment operator plus plus okay so i just save f2 is a save and now compile so here uh, function should return a value that is just warning because we here provide the integer uh, main so here there are two solutions first here we can return return is a keyword in c language and return zero so that warning is gone so there are two solutions first you can give the return zero so here you cannot require this uh, get ch but uh, we have to take there is no any error it's just warning and i run control f9 so just save and you can provide yes and our output is there but uh, not visible yes alter f5 i just press okay so there are two solution if you here give the return zero or you can also give here but uh, let us check I just yes there are all gone and con yes now directly print we can alter f5 not press directly our output one to ten okay and if you also provide like here uh, slash n but that is a series program so you can also print in a uh, single line one way let let us check yes so okay now i this remove slash n so we can print only one line so that is like series program 
1 to 10. Okay. Now we can some change here. I remove this uh, return zero statement. Okay, first I unselect. Okay, so that is a warning. Okay, so there is a function should return a value. Some you can provide the return. If I remove this integer data type, then and then, then also that is same error. Function should return by default in main function in C language. Return data type is integer value. So we can provide here return zero. There are two solutions in C language. You have to provide here return zero, and that's warning is not appear. Okay, there is no any error in this program, and warning is also removed. And second way, we can give the prefix as a void main. That's meaning this function not return any value. So we can give the void main instead. And void is a primary or fundamental inbuilt data type in C language. There are three values: primary, fundamental, or inbuilt data type. So okay, I think you can understand what is I'm saying. So now we can some short technique. So first I remove this brace, but to remove this brace, opening and closing brace I remove. But uh, here there are two statements. How possible we can convert in one? So there is we can directly here prefix okay uh, sorry uh, postfix or also you can give like that that is prefix okay so let us check i just remove this line and also i remove this brace there is a now no required because there is a only one statement in while loop so that is optional if two statement that is compulsory okay so now let us check no any error yes so there is a uh, prefix and now we can give the postfix increment operator okay so there is now print s yes, or requirement one to ten okay and also here possible we can take uh, like n and uh, take from user output like here i provide uh, enter number of time enter number of time you can you can repeat your while loop so enter number of time or you can say that enter number just percentage d and m percent n and here we can give the static 10 to n so that number of time is repeat uh, loop is repetition so like here i gave the 20 so 20 time is repetition okay now that is control to ourselves. We can take like a 15, so 15, 1 to 15 is print. So that is a, here we can assign like this value. And now while loop is a, uh, you can uh, omit uh, this uh, like here. I just uh, give this uh, comment line, and we can take here like testing. We can remove this. Uh, uh, increment to here here and just print and here i give the increment so i plus uh, or equal to and comma there is a uh, you, uh, two can you can give the two uh, expression we can say that that is one expression and that is one condition and comma operator comma is operator in c language okay let us check if it work is or not also here can give the end there is no any problem so let us check for simple okay here you can uh, just yes so here we can provide the end so we cannot take here we can give the 10 10 and then print yes now it print uh, increment by two so one and uh, one is not print because one is outside but the directly first condition is check and then increment then i plus two and that is meaning short uh, com compound assignment uh, operator so that meaning is then uh, i i i equal to i plus two that is a full form of that there is no any error and directly here print or you can print up to 11 that just give here 11 okay and that's 11 is printing if you want to print one then you can directly print here out, outside of while loop. so there is also possible to while loop you can provide with help of comma operator uh, to 
okay and let us uh, without body we have to print okay i take this statement here and i just as previously i just remove this part and i just uh, take the 10 so what's and here provide the semicolon that is uh, uh, we can omit the body part of while loop that is a uh, sometime is a infinite loop so be careful this type of we can just show you um, and increment we have to not supply to here so that how it's increment so we can here take the increment then and then that works so here i provide directly like uh, for previous two parts so i plus equal to two and comma so let us check what is output of this program because we have to here provide the semicolon so that's uh, i just 11 is directly print so all the element is not print directly last value of i is print okay so i plus equal to or you can say that i equal to i plus 2 that is meaning that is short compound assignment operator okay and that is an important point of while loop if, if you here not taking this part that is a infinite loop let us check that is a infinite loop so that is not testing because we can close our whole program so i cannot test you can test yourself uh, that is infinite loop that's meaning that loop is infinite because we have to provide here semicolon and there is no any increment of i so that is infinite loop that is a uh, repetition is uh, all all and all and you can stop our program come out the window switch okay so now we can open this and our end and here i provide 65 and here we can provide the end and now i change here uh, percentage c and uh, 65 is a you have to know in cfet computer fundamental subject uh, ascii code of capital a okay so let us check i just and here i print uh, like uh, nine zero up to nine zero so capital a to you can say that uh, uh, no one uh, here 65 you have to assign yes 90 is right yes so or it is uh, we can plus plus and then and then that is that is infinite so I just press any time there is no effect so that is a example of what is an infinite loop so there is only one way i just uh, press switch or control uh, pause back three otherwise you can uh, press your window key and then first close this editor here i close and then re again open that is a way come out the infinite loop so that is also here give example okay i now again open that program and that is a print one two three that is our goal and here we omit our increment part here i just remove this semicolon and then i give here plus plus okay then our loop is come out the infinite now is okay uh, here i just revise here we can assign the i as a 65 65 means uh, capital A is ASCII code in C programming in ASCII character set as a 65 and I less than equal to N. We here provide uh, like here directly we provide the 90. So there is no problem. I just provide N and I plus plus. So there are all three parts. That uh, that part known is a like initialization part that is a, in while loop that is a condition part and that is a increment or decrement part plus plus or minus minus increment operator or decrement also possible prefix and postfix you can uh, normally use the you know, postfix also you can use the prefix but uh, normally generally in the triangle pyramid and uh, like series programming that is a postfix generally use okay so i give nine zero so a to z capital is print okay and here i assign like uh, nine uh, ninety seven small a start okay so let us check and we provide the z is value 122 so you can refer your ascii code so small a to z your abcd is print okay through help of this program 
So we cannot change your data type. Like look here, that integer is there. I is an integer, and we here directly provide formatting symbol change, and that is a percentage C. So that ASCII code nine ninety seven. That ASCII call is a small a, and we provide the n value as a runtime. And also you can provide like here static. I just demo for you one hundred twenty, and I just I comment these two lines and scan a function. And print a message and let us check. There is no problem. So I think you can understand while loop is a better way. So while loop is a very important in C programming, also for loop and do while loop is there. But which loop when you can use that is very important. That is a like tools. So which tool applying which uh, definition that is important in C programming. And my upcoming video lecture, I also compare all three loops and give the idea which loop is better for which program. Okay, so I just give idea while loop is a generally we can use when we cannot uh, first uh, how that loop is terminate like uh, Armstrong number. So that number is a that number is Armstrong or not like prime number. So that type number programming we can use the while loop. Okay, so. I hope you can understand. I just remove this comment line, and here I in while loop again give the n, okay. And last time I run this, and here I provide 122, how number of time, okay. So small a to z, okay. So I think sufficient for while loop. There is a simple all three loops in uh, while loop is a simplest loop, and also menu driven program. Uh, using the while loop that is very important also you can use do while loop but while loop is a uh, one extra feature and that is advanced and here we can write like one so that meaning while loop is always true that meaning while loop is always true so we can come out that while loop exit function is there in c language exit so here not taking my upcoming video lecture i also cover the menu driven program and that time i use the uh, that advanced feature of always one. One is a always true and zero is a false. So one we have to provide. So always true and we can take some action like exit function, we can come out the editor or runtime program. So here I again give the same as less than or equal to n. So I hope you can understand what is a while loop. I just revise there are two type of loop in C language, entry control loop and exit control loop and entry control loop. There are two loops, uh, while loop and for loop. And exit control loop, just only one. As an example, you can say that or do while loop. Okay, So that is an example of entry control loop and exit. Uh, some students say that there are three type of loops in C language. There is not possible. Uh, that is wrong statement because there are two types of loop. Okay, entry control loop, exit control loop and that is an example like entry control loop there are two example while loop and for loop and exit control loop there is a only do while loop so you can give in viva a very perfect answer okay so i hope you can understand and while loop is a very simple and you have to not find your iteration in first your definition like write a program to enter one integer number and find out that number is perfect or not Time or not, factorial or not, that type of number programming or menu driven programming, you can use the while loop. Okay, so that is a simple loop, and there is a only here we can see the condition, the syntax of while loop. Here is condition, opening brace, closing, and number of statement or single statement here, like single statement. So we cannot provide in opening or closing brace. So that is optional. If single statement, that is optional, but two statement. I here I revise just I uh, use this uh, postfix and just I give I plus plus. So here now statement in while loop. So we can provide compulsory press. So that is a while loop all in the while loop. Okay. I just save and test compile and last time I run and that is we have to provide one right. Okay. So same session I take uh, digit series program and uh, alphabet you can say that a to z capital and small with help of while loop. so while loop is a very interesting in c programming we can take uh, 
number programming and upcoming i i take all number like uh, there are seven type of number programming like armstrong number perfect number factorial number any number of factor or palindrome number is there magic number is there some student what is a magic number so i can explain it in my upcoming video lecture so i hope you can enjoy this session and so many learning thing in this video lecture i just close alter f3 and alter x come out this okay subscribe my channel ashok shita like id and press the bell icon to never miss any update and thanks for your watching supporting and sharing hari krishna